Hello there. The good news is the wet weather we're seeing at the moment is not going to last into the bank holiday weekend as a little change is on the way. But the bad news is, as is fairly typical, the weather is a little bit uncertain for bank holiday Monday in particular. Let's take a closer look at the pressure pattern at the moment. And I think the important things to note are the jet stream, first of all. It's a fairly meandering pattern. You can see it pushing up to the north of the UK and round to the south of the UK as well. And that's building in this area of high pressure. It's quite a blocked pattern, basically. And this area of high pressure to the east of the UK is blocking any progress of our weather systems in from the west. So any mobility that has been moving in from the west, any weather fronts and low pressures that have moved in from the Atlantic bumped into this high pressure and pivoted back around to, the, to affect the UK. And that's what's happened with this area of low pressure that we're seeing at the moment that's bringing the very persistent and fairly exceptional rainfall to some areas. Over the next few hours, though, few days, though, we'll see that area of low pressure fill. And by Saturday, we'll see a much more relaxed pressure pattern with no weather fronts or low pressure systems at all. So Saturday is looking like the best day of the bank holiday weekend. But before then, it's going to be quite a slow process for that low pressure to fill. So through Thursday, it will still be pivoting around to the north and east of the UK with wet weather still pushing in from the north, particularly across Scotland through Thursday. So there's still weather warnings in force through Thursday. The rain will slowly and cont continue to ease through Thursday night into Friday morning. So by the time we get to Friday morning, there'll still be quite a lot of cloud around, but it's certainly going to be that much drier. And across the south, particularly through Thursday and into Friday, it should be considerably drier, but still fairly cloudy. In any sunshine, it won't feel too bad on Thursday and Friday in the south, but widely I think temperatures will be a little bit below par. Some showers may break out on Friday across northern areas, but compared to Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be a considerably better day. As we head into Friday evening and into the weekend, we continue to see the weather improve. Saturday, as I said, looks like the best day of the weekend. It's not going to be widespread sunshine throughout the day, but it does look like most areas should get away with a dry day with some fairly prolonged sunny spells. However, notice there is some wet weather pushing into the east. There's a low possibility that we could see some quite heavy showers across eastern areas by the afternoon and into early evening. But in any sunshine, temperatures are on the rise into the low 20s across the south and high teens across the north. But there will be a change as we head into Saturday evening and Sunday. This wet weather across the west is a weather front and that's going to make progress pushing across the UK through Sunday. It won't move particularly quickly and as it does move eastwards it will become more of a showery feature. So it's potentially some persistent rain to start across the northeast on Sunday. Most areas having a fairly dry start on Sunday but showers will break out quite widely actually on Sunday. They're not going to affect everywhere. There will still be some sunshine between those showers, highs of 20, 21 degrees, so into the low 20s, around average for the time of year, fairly warm in that sunshine, but potentially some quite hefty downpours. Let's take a look at the rainfall accumulations throughout Sunday. So as I said, that persistent rain across the northeast to start, but it's further south and west that we start to see those showers breaking out by Sunday afternoon. As you can see, most areas actually won't see any of those showers, but where you do catch one, you can see there's some quite bright echoes and that could bring about 15 millimeters in around three hours. So that's enough to bring some spray on the road to make you want to go inside if you are heading out and about on Sunday. So it's worth keeping up with the radar through Sunday to keep an eye on those showers. So it's fairly straightforward as we head through Saturday and Sunday. Bit of a change to more unsettled weather on Sunday, but as is often the case by Bank Holiday Monday, the weather forecast it becomes slightly less certain. Let's take a look at what the Met Office model wants to do at this stage. So this weather front, this plume of warm air comes up from the south and east and as this trough across Europe develops, it will allow this low pressure system to develop across the UK. Now, this is quite a change from what we were, we were seeing yesterday in the deep dive for our Bank Holiday Monday forecast. And it's also quite a different forecast compared to other models as well. So take a look here. We've got, this is the Met Office model. We've got low pressure right, centered right across the UK for Bank Holiday Monday. Let's take another look at, take a closer look at another model. This is ECMWF, the European long range model. This is the same point on the Bank Holiday Monday. 
and we've got a ridge of higher pressure building in and cooler air as well. You can see that plume that develops in the Met Office model is actually well to the east of the UK, taking with it that more unsettled weather. And this would bring a more widely showery picture. So what do we trust when the models are showing us different things? Well, we need to take a closer look at a few different things as well. So let's take a closer look at some, some more stuff from our Met Office model. We call these the postage stamps. They are very small, so I don't expect you to be able to look at the detail just yet. We'll have a closer look in a couple in just a moment. But essentially, if you don't know what an ensemble model is, it's when you take the same model and you run it several times with slightly different initial condition starting points just to see how that changes the forecast as you head further in time. And one thing to note is all of these postage stamps do look quite different. And when you see things like this, you think, oh, there is some uncertainty in the forecast. Not everything is showing us the same thing. But that might mean that with it, there is a chance of some slightly better weather than that low pressure across the UK on Monday. So let's zoom in on a couple of those, of those um, postage stamps. So this is the control run. This is what shows that low pressure system. And you can see these are the 24 hour rainfall accumulations through Monday. And there's some pretty wet weather in this, um, in this run across the UK, central areas of England and Wales in particular seeing that wet weather. But if you look at another member, actually that's not supported by all the other members. And in this run, actually the wettest weather is out to the east of the UK, similar to how that ECMWF model was showing us as well. And there's still some rainfall across the UK, but again, potentially just some showers. And all those postage stamps showed somewhere either one or the other or somewhere in between. So what can we say for the bank holiday Monday at this point? Well, I think the best thing to take away is that it's likely to be a showery day, probably as unsettled as it will be on Sunday, with potentially some heavy and thundery showers across eastern areas of the UK. However, having said that, light winds means that it will still feel fairly warm in any sunshine. So it's not expected to be a total washout at this stage. We're still a few days away and we will be putting out a full bank holiday forecast tomorrow. So make sure you keep up to date with the details on that one. So what's going to happen after the bank holiday Monday and into the half term week for some of us? Well, our friend, the Azores High, is expected to build in. This has been a bit of a trending trend for, many, for, for the past few weeks, is for the Azores High to build in. And this is the most likely pressure pattern for a lot of next week. So you can see that Azores High to the southwest of the UK. And that would bring drier weather to many southern areas. But there's still some wet weather around with the jet stream still meandering up to the north of the UK. That would push low pressure systems up to the north and west. But as is often the case when we get between these highs and lows, there is a bit of, bit of a battle between the highs and lows. And some days one will win out over the other. And there will be some days when that low pressure is a little bit more dominant throughout next week, bringing that wetter weather more widely, particularly to Western areas. But there will also be some days when that higher pressure wins out a little bit more, bringing more widely settled weather across the UK. So I think we'll be mixing between that high and low moving in from the north and that's high building in from the south throughout next week. But in all of these cases, actually, the driest weather is still expected to be across the south and east in particular and the wetter weather coming in most frequently across the north and west. So a bit of a northwest southeast split is expected for much of next week with the best of any drier weather in the south and east and the most persistent wetter weather in the north and west. But as I said, that dry weather could push a bit more widely across the UK and that wetter weather could also push a bit more widely across the UK on some days. But most days will be somewhere in between these, I would think. And also, it's still looking fairly warm. So it will still feel fairly warm in any sunshine. Some further fairly mild nights to come as well. Though before we get to next week, we've still got the bank holiday to come. As I said, we will be putting out a full forecast tomorrow on YouTube. So make sure, make sure you stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.